It's uh, that time of year again, and instead of working on my thesis, I've decided to turn this barcode scanner into a sample player. Pointless. Okay, so last time I was using this barcode scanner to trigger samples when specific barcodes were uh, scanned in. Now I'm using um, the barcode scanner to read the information and turn that information into a, a little uh, musical sequence. So let's have a listen to how that sounds. Okay, so that was an example of how that might work. So, question remains now, what do I do with that? I'm turning barcodes into sequences that will play on a loop. Uh, but I have no control as a performer over what's happening. So I, I designed a little uh, glove thing that basically sits on my arm, uh, like so. Uh, just a bit of Velcro on here. And uh, I can wear it like this. And basically, it's just got the control data along here. So if I want to change volume, I can scan in this one and it will uh, increase or decrease volume and then change the pitch or add delay to the sound effects that I'm using. And then I've got six different presets here. So I can basically switch between different uh, sonic fonts um, that will change the way that the sound is working. And to be mo more mobile for a performative setting, I also got a wireless... Uh, barcode scanner. So, yeah, let's see what happens. Sorry about that, um, everybody. Okay, so this is my uh, performance uh, titled Unraveling Code, where I use barcodes and try to uh, produce a musical response from the information in the barcode. Um, I hope you enjoy it. I've been experimenting for only for a few weeks now, so uh, this will be interesting. <laughs> uh, <laughs>
I hope you enjoyed. Um, <laughs> feel free to hit subscribe if you're interested into this kind of zany projects because there will be more in the future. And I hope to take uh, barcode scanning to the streets uh, using a Raspberry Pi and a, and a portable setup. So that should be interesting. So stay tuned uh, and have a great day.